Hey there, everyone, new CBC Boy Moin TV. As you guys can see, I'm almost legend, okay? I'm at 80% right now. I'm at 80% to legend, which means I should be hitting legend by probably by the end of June, okay? Hopefully, if I grind. I'm gonna grind this out so you guys know what type of time I'm on, you know what I'm saying? But, as you guys can see, this is my old build from what I made from the beginning of the year. As you guys know, my sharp build, I haven't changed my build throughout the entire year at all. You guys have probably never seen me on any other build except for this build. Um, I finally made a, um, a video on this build. I made a video on it so you guys can, can watch it. It was called the, the, Demon Iso the Demon Build that ISO players are scared of, right? Huh? Now, one thing that I hate about my build is the defensive badges. Bruh. The f Yo, Zach, appreciate this up. The defensive badges, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Yo, chat, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. The defensive badges on this build is gross, okay? Huh? It has five, I believe. Let me see. Here we go. Five potential upgrades, okay? So, I'm going to redesign this build, and I'm gonna make this build for the better. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to lower the amount of shooting badges I have because I have 30, okay? And by the way, this build is going to have 40 shooting badges at Legend, but I'm not going to lie to you. Let's be real, y'all. I don't really need any more badges. If I get extra badges, I'll probably get just, just playing around badges for fun. Like, after you have all these badges, you don't really need any other badge. You see what I'm saying? So, this build has 30 shooting badges, 11 playmaking, and 5 defensive. I'll get 15 defensive at legend, which is good, but it's not good en it's not good enough because I know I'm playing these wagers and I'm playing for money on the line. I won't I would want my defense to, to be top tier to the point where I have no excuses. Yeah. So the build that I'm gonna create, y'all, is a sharp lockdown. Yo, before I get into this build, you know what's so messed up about legend, bro? And this is why I say legend's build makes every build unrealistic. Because when you when you hit legend, you can literally make the exact replica build that you have, whatever build you have, and literally just add a lockdown onto it. And when you add a lockdown onto it, you gain, it's basically the exact same build with just 20 plus defensive badges. You see what I'm saying? And that's why I think that lockdown builds are just unrealistic and take no skill because whatever build you have as a, as a, um, as a, as a legend, just add, or whatever you, whatever build you have now, just add a legend on top of it and switch it to a lockdown build. It's the exact same build. You know what I mean? So that's why I think that. Anyway, anyway, I'm going to go into this. Several days later. All right, y'all. So as you guys can see, I'm making a point guard lefty. This is obviously all. You don't have to do this part for real. But the position, I'm making a point guard. You know what I'm saying? Right hand, left hand, it don't matter. The reason, a lot of people ask me the reason why I choose left hand. I always choose left hand because I feel like left handers are harder to block. That's just my theory. I've always been a left hand in every single 2K. I feel like left handers are just harder to block because right hand, I don't know, but that's just, just my just personal preference, bro. You know what I'm saying? Huh? It might be a, just something in my mind, I don't know. But um for the for the skill breakdown chart, you want to choose the one that has the most green and the most red, okay? So the ones with the most green and the most red is obviously gonna be this one, you know what I'm saying? And as you guys can see by the pie chart says 81 mid-range, 3.80, free throw 88. And then my ball handling is at 78. Um, and then my interior defense, my perimeter defense is at 84. And my still is at 87. It's really good. All right. So we're going we're gonna to click this one. And then um, for the, as far as the agility go, you guys you guys know it should always be the first one. But if you, like I said, if you want to tweak this, you can. But I'm not tweaking it. You know what I'm saying? Vertical, I don't really care for. Uh, you guys know it's all about the speed with sharp. So that's why everybody asks why is my sharp so quick. Obviously the agility. You know what I'm saying? All right, so here we go. Here we go, y'all. This is how you. This is how you make. This is the tricky part right here to make these badges work. All right, so y'all gotta pay attention. Six months later. All right, y'all. So as you guys can see, I have five finishing badges. When I hit legend, that's fifteen because of plus ten. I have eighteen shooting badges. When I hit um legend, that's plus ten, which is twenty-eight. Keep in mind, my old one had thirty. Okay. I have 10 playmaking badges. My old one had 11, but when I hit legend, they'll be plus 10, which will make it 20 playmaking badges. And then I have 20 defensive badges. When I hit legend, that's 30 defensive badges compared to my five. So as you guys can see, I only dropped the one playmaking badge 
and two shooting badges, and I got 15 more defensive badges, really more than that if you hit legend, and then four more finishing badges, but really more than that if I hit legend. So that that's the that's the hit right there. You know what I'm saying? But uh, as you guys can see though, you guys. The only way this this build will work is if you copy exactly my attributes, okay? If you guys take down one of them or, or take down whatever, it's not going to be the same. You see what I'm saying? If you guys want to max out your interior defense, you, as you guys can see, if I max it out, I'm not going to have the other the other playmaking badges. Y'all see that, right? Pay attention. So, you guys got to make this build exactly like this in order for this to happen. Now, keep in mind, this build is just like my other sharp. It has 75 ball control. But don't forget, when I hit Legend, I mean, when I hit 99 overall, that's 80 ball control. Then with TakeOver, that's speed boosting, okay? All right, so keep in mind, y'all. Um, when you when I hit 99 overall, my, my three points, not going to be 80. It's going to be like an 85. I believe it's plus five. Mid-range will be 86. That's plus, uh, plus, you know what I'm saying, plus five. So all these attributes, they go up when you hit 99 overall, all right? So this is the build, y'all. The sharp demon. The sharp lock demon. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. 30, 30. And keep in mind, chat. This one right here gets Hall of Fame shooting and it gets Hall of Fame defensive. You know what I'm saying? So it's both. So I'm gonna have Hall of Fame clamps. I'm gonna have Hall of Fame box out. I'm gonna have Hall of Fame um pick dodger. Hall of Fame pickpocket. Hall of Fame. All of this is Hall of Fame. Okay? So just letting you guys know. Now I haven't gone to the height yet. As you guys can see, I've not gone to my height. Yet. I always make my player built. But the reason why I say that it's gonna go to um my ball control is gonna be at 80 is because I know when I make my player high, my, my player height taller, my ball handling is not gonna be a 78 no more. It's gonna be like a 75. Alright, so as you guys can see, my body shape is built. My height, 6'5, I told you. My ball handling is gonna drop down to a set now. Obviously, you can adjust this. If you want to adjust it, the reason why I, I go taller is because the taller the height, the better the defense. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's why I always do that. If you guys want to go uh, six four, you can. Six three, you can. Hell, even six two, whatever. It's all preference at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna go six five, just like my sharp build. As you guys can see, my ball handling is gonna drop down to a 75. But don't worry, when I hit 99 overall, it will be an 80 ball handling okay so it will, it will do plus five attributes my mid range will be at 85 my three point will be at 85 and you can green with those pretty consistently if i give you my hot spots and everything like that it's gonna be straight now like i said this is all preference so if you guys want to drop down to six four you can drop down to six four me personally i like six five you know what i'm saying i like six five six five is the best for me um my sharp build at 99 on my other build is, is at 81 ball is at 81 um Ball handling minus five that means it would be at a 76, which would be six four basically. So if I go six four, that means that I would be at the exact same ball handling as my other sharp. But my ball handling is gonna drop down one point because I'm six five, which is okay with me, you know what I'm saying? But um, like I said, it's all preference. My speed is gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be good because when I hit 99, my speed is gonna be like a 95 or something like that. That's good enough speed. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not worried. You know what I'm saying? The physicals go up when you hit 99 overall. So if you guys are worried about speed, that's up to you. But if you, like I said, if you guys want to drop this down, it's our preference. I'm gonna go with 65. Just me personally. You know what I'm saying? So that's just that's my build. Um, my weight. Hmm. I don't know the weight of my other build. Hold on. Let me. I'm actually gonna go check. All right, y'all. So as you guys can see, um. I'm gonna make my weight actually the lowest because if you guys can see the the um, physicals, my speed and acceleration goes up as well as my vertical. You don't really need strength, so I, I'm gonna go lowest on that one. Um, or if you really want to tweak with it, you can go like 176 because technically there's no difference between one. Yo, that's that's the one thing that I hate about 2K is that you see how I was in the other the other um, thing doing my badges. I mean my my points. Certain attributes give certain badges for certain things, and, it, and certain things don't change, which I think is, makes no sense. Like, look right now, look at my weight. From 175 to 176, there's no difference. Absolutely no difference. You see what I'm saying? So if you guys want to go up one more weight, I don't know if that extra weight's going to do you something, but I mean, it's, it's really up to you, you feel me? But I'm going to go with lowest. All right, y'all, so right here with the wingspan, you guys can tweak this as well. Like I said, it's all personal preference. If you raise it all the way up, it'd be stupid. But if you raise it all the way up, 
You know what I'm saying? It'll be your your defense will increase, but if you if you make it default, you can make it default. Keep in mind if you hit 99, you get plus five. So that'll be plus five to uh, your your mid range, plus five to your three point, etc. If you drop it once, you'll get a plus one, which means plus one to your ball handling as well. And keep in mind, my, my other sharps um, ball handling is a 76. At 99, it's an 81. So you can do this as well, but I, I want a little bit more shooting. So I think I'm going to go I'm think I'm gonna go 78.9, kind of like my other one, just so I can get that plus two to shooting. But I don't know if it's... See, y'all, look, y'all got me confused now. Is it worth going two wingspans down for, 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 for an extra attribute? You know what I'm saying? Like... It's really preference, but I don't even know what I'm gonna do, bro. Let me see. Cause I can go plus one down, and I can still maintain. If I and keep in mind, if I go two down as well, I'm gonna also lose my um my stealing and blocking. So you know what? I don't think it's worth it, bro. I think I'm gonna get an 86 mid range and an 86 three instead of an 87 mid range and an 87 three. I don't know if 86 and 87 is a big difference with that. So I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go 80. Either 80.7 or 70. It'll, yo, either 80.7 or 78.9. It really don't matter, but I think I'm gonna go 80, y'all. I'm going 80. All right, y'all, right here. It's another thing that's preference. This is up to you guys. Um, This is the hardest thing that really determines your build. You can choose a lockdown build, a lockdown grand badge, sharp grand badge, playmaking grand badge, or shot clearing grand badge. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, bro. There's two, there's two takeovers in this game. That I just feel like it's overpowered as hell. Um, the, and I'm telling you right now, it's not playmaking. I think playmaking is the worst takeover to choose at all. It's either lock or shot creating. Um, sharp shooting grand badge is kind of OP, but I ain't gonna lie, bro. Shot creating grand. I mean, the sharp grand badge is kind of OP, but the shot creating one, it's 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 OP too, bro. Like I feel like the, the shots you can green with the with the sharp takeover, it's the same shots you can green with a sh with a shot creating takeover. Now, this is a hard decision for me, bro. I've never played with a lock takeover, and I believe if you get a lock takeover, you're going to have to play more defense for you to get that. So I'm probably going to go with what I know best, which is the shot cleaning takeover. And that's because I have Hall of Fame defense anyway. So if I have Hall of Fame defense, I don't see the point of me getting a, a, a lockdown grand badge. Like, there's really no point, you know what I'm saying? Um, again, this is all preference. If you guys want to choose lock, you can. But anyway, y'all, that's the ending of the build. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. You guys let me know your thoughts on this build, man. Keep in mind, this is only for Legend, but I wouldn't recommend this build at any other, any other, um, thing but Legend. I'm 80% there, so I'm definitely going to max out this build 110% when I get there. But, uh, yeah, let's try to get 7,000 likes on this video. I've never got 7K likes before, I don't think. That's a wild number for me to ask for, but I believe you guys can do it. So, 7K likes. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.